What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the scribble effect in Vegas Pro 16. Now, to be honest with you, doing this effect in Vegas Pro 16 does require a lot of time and attention. It also means that we won't be doing this directly in Vegas Pro 16, we're going to be using that and also paint. If you don't have paint, then I will be providing you with a link in the description to download. It is free, of course, and it's a really quick download. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 to start with, and this is the same clip you saw at the start, which is the intro. Now, I've already split this section here, and this is the same selection I picked at the start where I want the scribble effect to happen. So, of course, you pick where you want the scribble effect to happen and just split it out like I've done here. Then what you want to do is double click it so you have the loop regions, which are these two yellow dots, highlighted over that area. You then want to come to best and full, then we're going to come to render as. Now last time I showed you this effect, to be honest I did make a mess of it in terms of this step right here. I made you screenshot each individual frame, so I'm going to be showing you a much quicker way right now. All you need to do is come up to image sequence, select the file format, preferably PNG or JPEG, then I highly highly recommend this choose a folder, don't just put it on your desktop, you need it in a separate folder and this will make sense later on. So you can see my folder is already selected and I'm just going to call it scribble effect and I'm going to select render. Now the rendering time will be super quick because it's just going to be images as you can see and you can see it's now done so I'm going to open up that folder and this is it now completed. So what we actually have here is 30 images and these 30 or 31 images and these 31 images are different every single second, every single frame. So the next thing we're going to do is head over to paint. So here's paint, already have it opened, and first of all we're going to drag on the first image. Now if you want to zoom out, just use the mouse wheel on your keyboard and hold control. And now this is where you get creative. So up here it says brushes, you can select a brush type that you would like. Preferably brush is usually the best, and if you have a pad for this it's going to be a lot easier. What I'm going to do is bring up the size so it's super thick. Then I'm also going to come here and I'm going to pick oil brush. So I'm going to change the color to yellow and all I'm going to do is draw these lines out and you can see this is what oil brush does. It creates this nice cool effect which I think looks a lot better. Now for me I'm just going to draw around myself of course you can be more creative than me. I'm just trying to make this quick. So there we go. That's the first image done and the next thing you need to do is come up to file, save as and then save it as a PNG or a JPEG. Preferably the original one you picked, so mine were all in PNG, so I'm gonna select PNG. Again, go to that exact same folder. Don't put it where all the other images are. I do recommend creating another folder and call this edited. Then press open, press open, and you can just leave the file name as it is and select save. That's one image down. You can select okay on that. That's one image down. And now we're going to drag on the next image. And now we just do the exact same thing again. Now completely optional, choose a different color, do the exact same effect. And then when you're done, just save it. So there we go, I've done that. I'm going to come to file, save as, PNG, same folder, save. And again, you can select OK. Now one thing I'm going to be showing you uh, just before I speed everything up is having like the crosses on the eyes. So I'll just put the same red stuff around the edges. And of course let's say you want the crosses across the eyes so you just literally draw over it like that. And do this for a couple of frames in order to make the effect look a lot better. And of course you can just draw over the mouth just to make it look a bit more spooky. Then same thing again, you just come to file, save as, and save. And there we go. So right now I'm going to go through everything and speed all this up for you. Okay, so I am now officially finished. This was the last image I done. And if I just come here to that same folder where we saved them all, as you can see, this is how they look. Now you can see image 5, 22 and 28, it looks like they're split in half. However, if you open them up, there's nothing to worry about. It is completely normal. Now, this is where we import and this is where time can get a bit more time consuming. So you can close out a paint and this is, of course, the 
exported part and this is where we need to import all the images. So the first thing we're going to do is left click and drag this completely off. Now you can delete it, however I always like to keep it just in case we need to come back to it for whatever reason. And now we're going to head over to that folder, which is this folder where all the images are. And what I'm going to do, just to make it easier for you, I'm going to drag all the images into the project media. And of course you guys can do this as well, especially for those who don't have two monitors. Just put it in the project media and it'll make things a lot simpler for you. So let's get started. We need to drag and drop the first image in. And then of course we're going to size it all the way down. Now, it needs to be sized down to one frame. So like this. And then we come over to the next one and just do the exact same thing. And once again, this part is time consuming and now of course it should be self-explanatory to you. I'm just going to fast forward all of this part simply because it'll take forever to just watch it do, watch me do it. Okay, and onto the final image now, just drag, drag that back and it's all completed. Now we're going to have a moving sequence with all them scribble effects. So I'll play this through from the beginning. Now what I'm going to be doing is turning the preview down so it hopefully it doesn't lag and play it through for you. So just from here. We showing you how to do the scribble effects in 16. Now to be up. Now you can see that's how that looks pretty cool. And now of course, um, this is where we sync that audio in. So all we need to do is press U on our keyboard and that takes away the clip from the audio. And we're just going to drag this into place. You can see it fits right in here simply because that is the exact spot where we had that video and of course we rendered this section out. So now for play through. Do the scribble effects in Vegas Pro 16. No. You can see that's pretty cool. That's how that looks and I'll just loop it for you guys and then just mute it so you don't hear it echoing. As you can see, that is now what we've got. It's really, really cool effects, really simple to do. It does take some time, however, I did rush mine, and even then, it does create a cool effect in the end. Now, if you are doing this for a music video, please, please take your time. And of course, if you are doing this professionally, or even just for a YouTube video, just take your time. I rushed mine simply because for the tutorial. So if you guys are doing this for something else, then I highly recommend you take your time and create a really cool effect using this. It's also important to note that this isn't just for being on people. You can also use this effect on buildings, literally on anything. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has come across as useful. And as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. And if you want to get in contact with me, then just go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, and also follow me on Twitter. 